Hi, babe. Yvonne, you're going to work. It's obvious, darling. I am. But you haven't made breakfast for me. Darling, please, I'm running late for work already. Just try and fix something for yourself, okay? Mother, you don't have anywhere to go. Is that your wife telling me you won't make breakfast for me just because I don't have a job? <sighs> Darling, that's not what I meant. I love you very much, okay? But please, you have to try and fix something for yourself. I'm running late already, okay? Um, I have to go. Have a nice day, darling. What my back? Hi, darling. How was your weekend? Boring. Being single is not fun at all. I wish I'm married. Hmm. Well, sometimes I wish I wasn't. I mean, I'm stressed out with work and house chairs. Daniel has still not been able to get a job. I have to pay the bills. And Frida, she keeps calling for allowances. My parents are on my neck. They are always depending on me. Sometimes I just feel like running away from everything. That's so sad, honey. But why don't you try getting him a job here? I have tried. But you know that slimy old windbag? He wants to sleep with me before giving my husband a job. How oh, disgusting. You know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do to get what you want. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just joking. Have you called Susan about our hunger tomorrow night? Well, I haven't, but I'll call her this evening. Okay, here is a document you requested for. Okay, the one from Nigeria Communications Commission. Yes. Okay, that's um, fine. Thank you. All right, see you later. All right, darling. Thanks. And why is this not adding up? Hello, Eve. Susan, darling, I hope you're still coming out to our hangout tomorrow. Of course, I'm coming. I thought maybe your husband would let you go out at night. My husband? You mean my darling husband? He allows me to do whatever I want. And don't forget, I have him wrapped around my little fingers. Aww, that's alright. You're so lucky. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. Susan! Hello, honey, I'm here. How many times have I warned you that I don't like taking steak food for dinner? Steak food? Honey, I prepared the food this morning and put it in the fridge before going to work. Are you saying that I'm stupid? I don't know what steak food tastes like. That's not what I meant, honey. Before I lose my temper, pull this witchcraft gown that you're wearing. Go inside the kitchen and prepare something fresh. Oh, I'm tired. I've been working all day. You're so stupid. Who doesn't walk around here? I also work hard to provide for this family. Like I said before, go inside the kitchen, prepare something fresh, or I will slap this makeup off your face. Have I made myself clear? Were you saying something? No. That's what I thought. Even stop. I'm not in the mood. Come on. 
when I say stop. I'm really not in the mood. Daniel, what is this? I mean, you wouldn't make love to me. I've been out all day looking for a job. I am tired. It's not about you being tired. This is about me not making breakfast for you, right? You know what? You can go to hell. I mean, I'm tired of taking your bullshit. I take all your responsibilities and you're here getting angry. Look, look at Susan. Her husband takes care of his family and still treats her like a princess. And you sit your silly ass here every day and expect me to do your responsibility and then what? You get angry at me for not doing that? I don't sit on my ass. I've gone every day trying to get a job. But you're not even seeing my efforts here. That is because I am tired. I am tired of taking care of everyone and no one takes care of me in return. Well, darling, if you want to do your responsibilities in bed, I might as well look the other way. Eva, how dare you say something like that? Eva, come back here. Frida, don't you have a clock? I'm sorry, sir. It's the morning already. What is it? I want you to know I'm coming to Nigeria tomorrow. You're coming to Nigeria tomorrow? Frida, the semester just started. Do you know how much it will cost you to come back to Nigeria and return? Come on, Eve. I already booked a ticket. Oh, you booked your tickets before calling me.
Yvonne, wait! Yvonne, wait! What is it? Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about last night. I don't need your apology. Please wait. Please. Baby, I'm trying. I'm really trying here. It will mean a lot for me if you would see that I'm trying. It breaks my heart to see you work so hard for this family. I promise you I will get a job. Well, you better do. You should. I am on the verge of going insane. I am tired. I will. I promise you that. Have a nice day, please. Okay, please tell her to come pick up the files. Okay, thank you. Come in. Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, good morning. Um, I'm an intern from the University of Calabar, ma'am. Uh, I'll be working in your department. What's your name? Victoria Bukama. Oh, oh, um, okay, I, I remember I got a call from your school. Um, well, you're welcome to Greenwood Corporation. Meet the secretary on your way out. She'll show you to your office. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hello. Yes, please. Is that a chancellor of West Ford University? Yes, my name is um, Yvonne Okoye, sister to Maxwell Frida. I'm calling to confirm something about my sister. I'm fine, are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you supposed to be at work? Oh, lunch break. I come here for my lunch every day. Are you here to eat? I'm here to apply for a job. You don't have a job yet? I'm still searching. The girl is not trying for you at all. She's the financial manager to our company and she should be able to get you a job. She did, but it didn't work out. No, 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 no. She didn't try hard enough. I know who it work is. I think she should be happy that you don't have a job so that she can take care of the home and push you around. She doesn't push me around. You don't need to defend her. I know who my friend is, okay? But not to worry. Um, here's my card. Okay. Okay? Call me maybe tomorrow or next. Let okay. me see what I can do, alright? Call me. If there's any job, I'll let you know. Thank you so much, Ruth. Right. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. It's okay. All right. Take care of yourself. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. You. What's going on? Frida, I am disappointed in you. What's going on? You're asking what's going on. Frida, you know, when you called to tell me that you were coming home at the beginning of a school semester, I knew something was wrong. I called your chancellor. What? What do you mean, what? Frida, when did you start using drugs? You just look called to tell me that that you were expelled from school and that you've been deported from the states. Uh, look, my friends are probably trying to play prank on you. Just shut up! Have you forgotten who enrolled you in that school? 
or has this kept your memory who used up all her savings to make sure you got a road in Westport University? Brother, what did I do to deserve this? If I'm sorry, see, the school chancellor is racist. Oh, yeah, right. I was caught using drugs just one time and he, he spelled and reported me to the police. Oh, no, no, you listen. That is not what he told me. He said this is the seventh time you are caught using drugs in school. He had to take imperative measures because you were selling drugs to the junior students. How could you, Freda? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You see, those junior students, they came to me. They came to me and demanded for drugs. And by the way, I needed the extra cash. Goodness, this is the joke of the century. You needed the extra cash. Freda, I sent you $250 every week i pay for your tuition and your test books now tell me what did you need that extra cash for i'm sorry honestly i am i regret my actions i do sorry you know what go and pick up your bags i'm sending you over to no 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 if please please don't please i beg you she doesn't even know i'm in the country yet does it look like i care I don't, Frida! I don't! If, if I'm sorry! She should be here by now. Yeah, she should. But I'm here to have fun, drink away my sorrow, and be happy. <laughs> Madam, who kept you so long? Sorry, Jerry. You know my husband is so clingy. He loves me so much that he never wants me to leave his sight. <laughs> you're on better. Well, Sue, you're very lucky. Trust me. Thanks. And um, Eve, why are you looking so down? Me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's, uh, I've just been stressed out a little bit, you know. Come on, Eve. You know you can tell us anything. Talk to us. Eve. 
It's Frida. She got deported from the States. Oh my God. What happened? What happened? Caught selling and using drugs in school, of course. Why is this girl treating you this way? After spending the whole money on her, she could be that stupid? It's like, I'm, I'm so tired. I'm so fucking tired. I'm out there stressing myself and looking out for everyone and nobody looks out for me in return. It's, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I know how you feel. I know how painful it can be being married to a guy for four years and you taking his responsibilities. Ruth, you're not helping matters here. But I'm saying the truth. Look at him. See how miserable she is. And her husband is seated on his ass doing nothing. If there are no matter how life turns with you, just if you have dependable and trustworthy friends like us. Okay. Thank you, girls. Thanks a lot. I really do appreciate it. That's okay. And Ruth, come to think of it, you that knows how miserable someone else's life is. You said, when you go mad. <laughs> Just to the queen <laughs> of singleness. You are crazy. You are crazy. You are crazy. This time I will look for a little bachelor for you. So hard. <laughs> you don't need to bother. I already have my eyes set on someone. Since when? When the time comes, you girls to know. It's better you say it before I tickle it out of you. Wait, you want to tickle me in class? <laughs> but of course you know we will tickle you. So oh, no, 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 no,
Frida? What are you doing here? I, um... I was looking for you. You were looking for me? Why? Come and sit. I want to apologize to you. Frida, no amount of apology will bring back the millions that has gone down the drain. I know that. I know. But you make mistakes, Eve. I regret my actions. Honestly, I do. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Whether you apologize today or tomorrow, I just want you to understand that you are now responsible for yourself. A dime from me will not go in for your sake. Is that clear? What is it? I've got a job! <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? I am. Our blood has been done. They called me back for the job. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is great. This is good. Tell me, which company? Where did you get a job? How did you know about it? I actually applied in Italy and they called me back for the job. Wait a minute, Daniel. You're not serious, are you? I am. Are you kidding me, Daniel? You applied your E3. Okay, now tell me, as a manager, how much are they supposed to pay you? Thirty to forty thousand naira. Is that even supposed to cover half of our bills? At least it's something. That is insane. We are going to start having children when you get a good job. Now tell me, Daniel. Do you intend to take care of the family with? Daniel, 30,000 naira, 40,000 naira, what are you saying? Look, Miss Impeccable, I'm trying here. Did, did you just call me impeccable? Yes, I did. You are like your puppet. I'm sick of it. And I am sick of you. Whatever. She was right. All you do is push me around. Who, who was right? Big. You know, a little encouragement from you would help me a lot. Oh, please, go to hell, Daniel. I'm already there. All you do is make my life a living hell. You are the owner of your home. Owner of your shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home. What are you supposed to do? You have to put food? things in place by yourself. Oh. Zilla. 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 You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe. You How are things between you and Daniel? As usual, we barely talk nowadays. Sweetheart, you need a break from that marriage. Ruth, why are you sounding that way? Listen, Daniel is not a bad person. He's actually a sweet guy. His inability to get a job is just a major problem in our marriage. That's all. <laughs> sweet and Karen know they pay for Bilo. He doesn't pay bills. Well, thank you for that. Karen. Okay. Enough of this, Victor. Stop calling me ma'am. You make it sound like I'm 50. Call me Yvonne. Okay. Do I still need to go on with the project? Um, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll handle it myself. Okay, ma'am. 
Oh, you hold it. That's up. And what's that smile for? When did that hot dish start working here? Three days ago, he's an intern in my department. I don't care who he is. You need to take a bite from that delicious meal. Ruth, are you crazy? I am married for goodness sake. That boy is too young. He's not that young. Let me tell you, you can't let that sweet meal go to rest. Believe me, he's the break you need from your marriage. Well, thank you, darling. I am not interested. You can have him if you want. I told you I have my eyes set on someone. Come on, sweetheart. We don't need to let him go to waste. Come on. Okay. Enough of this, madam. You can go back to your office. I've got work to do. Okay. Let me leave you to your boring life. Madam. I said that is the door. Go back to your office. Ah, yes. Okay. I know you still look for me. Ah, <coughs> uh -uh. I won't need you. Sorry, um, Ivan. I was wondering if you could drop me off at the bus stop so I could get the bus home. Um, that's fine. Happen. Thank you very much. It's really cool. You have kids? No, not yet. Why? Uh, I was wondering, you look really hot, and I was wondering how a lady with kids could still look so good. I'm glad I can make you laugh. You seem really tense the whole day. I've just been stressed, that's all. Oh. Sorry about that. It's fine. Thank you. Um, so the next bus stop is where you... Oh, fine, yeah. So fine. Knows how to take care of me. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so envious of you, Susan. I mean, you have someone who loves you so much. I wish I had someone like that. Too. What about the guy you told me of? He hasn't called yet. And who is this guy anyway? Don't worry. With time, I'll tell you. Huh. You know well. Where's our friend Eve? Miserable. 
she and Daniel got into another fight. Those two ain't compatible at all. Yes, my dear. I feel for her. It's okay. Just take care of yourself and make sure you come back from that vacation place. Because we miss you. He called yet. Hello? Daniel? It took you long enough to call. I was the one who offered to help. You aren't a body. Well, I spoke to my boss and he offered to give you a job. Yes. No, 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 no. Hold on. All I had to do was talk to my boss and he offered to help. Yes, I'll be available. Um, mm. Just text me the place and time and I'll be there. Please, Daniel, don't tell Yvonne you have a job yet. You're here to ask me for money. I am giving you nothing. Come on, I just need a little cash. To buy heroin or cocaine? I don't need drugs anymore. Frida, I am not giving you a dime. I mean, you shouldn't be happy that I still have your silly ass hanging around here when I should have sent you back to mom. You just hate me. Daniel doesn't even have a job. You practically take care of the whole, but I don't see you giving him out to you. You would not dare bring Daniel into this. But I've been with his broke eyes for four years. Four years, Yvonne. For just three days with me, and you are already sick of me. Do you know what? With everything you have done, I am surprised that you're not even sick of yourself. We all make mistakes, Eve. We do. But you look down on everybody else because of your flaws and act like you're perfect. Just shut up and go back to your room. You know I love you. I tell you what to do. And better go to me that I am not your mother. So go ask your mother for money. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. Zilla, 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 Baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for being a terrible husband to you. I promise everything is going to change. I promise you that. Hold on. 
Yeah, come, come in. Um, Good afternoon. Yes, um, afternoon. Do you want something? No, ma. I'm actually going for my lunch break. So I wanted to know what you want for lunch so I could get it for you. You don't have to do that. That is not your job. But I want to do it. See, you've been working really hard lately. I think you need a break. It's time someone took care of you. <sighs> That's really nice of you. I just wanted to do something nice for you. Mm. That's new. I mean, every other person thinks I deserve to go to hell. Because they say even is domineering. They think I am impeccable. And they think I am the she-devil herself. They are wrong. You see, the little time I've got to spend with you have made me realize how kind-hearted you are. So humble and down to earth. <laughs> Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Okay. So, what do you want for lunch? Um, rice and fish is fine. Roger that. Rice, come here. Um, wait. Um, sorry, I haven't given you money for the food. Just because I'm an intern does not mean I'm impecunious. Impecunious. <laughs> what is the meaning of impecunious? Means poor, penniless. Oh. And how old are you again? <laughs> Not as young as you think. Yeah. I take my leave, man. Anything? No, I'm fine. I'm okay. Just this is okay for me. Alright. Are you alright? Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. I still can't believe I'll be getting a job. <laughs> it's nothing. The interview is in two days. Okay. Just article around the CEO and the job is yours. Just like that? Just like that. Wow. Thank you so much, Ruth. It's okay. But don't tell Yvonne I gave you a job. My lips are sealed. Yes, good. <laughs> oh. This place is getting stuffy. Yeah. Do you mind taking a walk? I'm oh, sure. Cool. Right. Remember when we first met? Yeah. It was raining that day. I was rushing to get a class when we bumped into each other. You... You broke my nose. And you got really pissed at me for like one month. I was always going to your dorm to apologize. That's where I met Yvonne. I'm glad we really bumped into each other that day. If we didn't, I wouldn't have met her. You know, I was so surprised when I learned you and Yvonne were dating. You both are so different, and you still are. Baby. But we love each other, and that's what that matters. The right term should be loved. Because if she loves you like you claim, why can't she find you a job? I'm sure there's an explanation for it. Stop defending her, Daniel. 
You are a great guy and you deserve better. You deserve someone who will love and encourage you. Someone who won't let a temporary setback come between your love. Someone who will stand with you through the stormy days. Someone like me, Daniel. I love Yvonne. I'm sorry. If I didn't meet her, maybe we would have had a chance. But right now, she got the lock and key to my heart. She says awful things about you. My inability to get a job has been a strain in our marriage. But then, thanks to you, we can actually have a happy marriage. I'm so much grateful to you, Ruth. met him first and he belongs to me me and me alone yeah hello sir um, sir about the job I don't want him to have it anymore Yes. You got to wake up and be dumb. Stand on your feet. So what's up with you, girl? You left the office without telling me, and I've been calling your phone. You're not picking up. I'm so sorry I left in a hurry. I was feeling very sick, so I had to step out. Are you better now? Yes, I do. All I knew was a little rest. Okay. Because I got really worried. Madam, you look cheerful. What's up? Nothing. Come on, spill the beans. I'm serious, Ruth. It's nothing. Ah, uh -huh. if you don't tell me what it is, I won't invite you when I'm getting married. <laughs> okay. Fine. It's Victor. I mean, that lad is such a sweet guy. He makes me cheerful when he is around. Really? Okay, no way. Don't give me that mischievous smile. It's nothing serious. For goodness sake, I am married. And trust me, I don't intend going down with that intern anytime soon. You see, who wants this shit, my darling? I love my Daniel. You're broke and jobless, Daniel. Okay, shut up, Ruth. It's no joke. No matter what, he is still my man. Okay, whatever you say. Um, two more pressing issues. Do you know Frida asked me for money? I mean, that girl has no conscience. Is she having money issues? The girl is just greedy. She keeps asking me for money. She even went as far as taking money from my room. Are you serious? I'm telling you, she didn't even know I knew that she collected money from my room. I don't just know what to do with that girl anymore. You know what? Don't let Frida issue bother you, okay? Do you want something to drink? My dear, a shot of whiskey will do me some real good right Your now. I'm not joking. <laughs> What is this? I'm this close to landing a job. <laughs> You're not serious, are you? I'm serious. <laughs> 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 
I hope it's not that each rich job. No. It's in a company that you're actually familiar with. <laughs> okay, hold on. I need to digest this. <laughs> Babes, are you serious about this? Yeah. I will reveal the name of the company to you after I've landed the job on Monday. And how are you sure they are going to take you? I'm damn sure, baby. Everything is going to change. I will finally be able to take care of you in the way that you deserve. Yes! 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 We need to go upstairs and celebrate. Mm -hmm. like I can do it. business proposition for you. It will help solve your money problem and get me what I want. Was a vacation. What vacation are you talking about? Um, Susan says you guys went on a vacation. Susan? Yes. Well, I did not go on any vacation. As a matter of fact, Susan is at home right now. No, um, wait. You mean Susan is at home? Yes. Well, I need to go inside and pick something. Take care of yourself. Um, you too. You are the owner of the home, owner of the shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of the home, owner of the shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. Come on, first. Let's talk. Are you sure you are fine? <sighs> okay. Time for some explanation. I was robbed. Terrible. Did you get them arrested? I didn't see their faces. I was coming back from work and some gunmen attacked me, took my valuables, but they didn't take my car though. That's traumatizing. I'm so sorry. Okay. I mean, you should have... Why didn't you tell us rather than telling us you went on a vacation? I don't want you girls to see my face like this. Oh. You know I look ugly with this process. Oh, come on, darling. That's nonsense. I'm sorry anyway. Okay? I'm so sorry. And listen. Next time, don't keep something this serious from me. I mean us. Okay? I promise I won't. Sorry. Hmm? But your bruises look good on you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi Ken. Hi. Well, I I guess I have to leave you too. <laughs> but I have to see you after. I hope you're not leaving because of me. Oh no, come on. I still have some shopping to do. Hi. Okay. You take care of yourself. Alright. <laughs> have a nice day. You 
lie to your friends so that they wouldn't see the bruise on your face. I wouldn't want them to know my husband is a monster. What did you say? Nothing. Let me tell you something you don't understand. You deserved everything that I did to you. You should thank your stars that you're still living under my roof. Ken, why are you so mean to me? That's because you're a terrible wife. You don't even do anything right. Yes, I don't do anything right. Because if I did, I wouldn't have married you from the first place. That's why I have to wait the rest of my life, praying that you change for once. Now listen to me, the next time you raise your voice at me again, I will kill you. There is plenty where that came from. Fool. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. Zilla, Zilla. Zilla, 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 Zilla. Hmm. Mr. Kuro, yeah. you have quite an impressive qualification, but sorry, I can't give you the job. What? But sir, I am sorry. Sir, what sir. means? Please, sir. I really need this job. Even if it's a lower position, I really need this job. No, no, no. Please, get up. Get up first. Get up. Let, um, let me quickly do something. So you can have... I have your number. All right. I have your contact. If there is opening, I'll put a call to you. Okay? What's that? Mr. Koye. Sir, if there is an opening in this establishment, I'll call you. But sir, do you understand English? Yes, sir. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. Zilla, 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 Zilla. Yes, I'm so sorry, Daniel. I, I spoke to him and he told me there was an opening and he was willing to hire you. It's okay. But, but I brought your hopes up and, and now I did nothing. It's nothing. not your fault. You did all you could for me. Okay, you know what? I promise I'll do something. I must do something. It's okay. Are you sure you'll be alright? I'll be fine. Rush, did you try to give Daniel a job here again? No, I already told you what the old baboon told me. But Daniel just left here a few minutes ago. He had an interview with our boss. What? Yes. I, I can't believe he went behind your back to look for a job. Probably he thought you didn't try hard enough. What? Why would Daniel distrust me this much? I mean, why wouldn't I want to give my own husband the job? See, I met Daniel before you. And I've been trying to tell you the kind of guy he is, but you wouldn't listen to me. I can't, I can't 
believe this. You. I already told you how much I tried and it didn't work. You made a fool of me out there. I'm sorry. I don't I'm tired. I am tired of this whole thing. All I have done in the past four years is try to push this marriage forward. I have given my all. If Ewan doesn't cook, no one eats. If she doesn't pay the light bill, there will be no light. If I don't follow the car, no one else will. I am tired. But I want to help you. I am trying. Maybe you are not trying hard enough. I deserve better. Okay, maybe I will do better. I have been hearing that for the past four years. I am so tired. I'm tired. Maybe if I have a more encouraging wife, I will do better. Oh. Oh no. No, it's my fault. It's it's Eva's fault. It's my fault, isn't it? I hate you. If if let her go. She just needs to cool off a little. She'll be fine. I hate myself. Chill, bro. It ain't your fault. You both is just being difficult as usual. You are the owner of your home. Owner of your shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home. Owner of the shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. Silla, 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 Silla. Wake up, don't be dumb. Stand on your feet. Face your fear so that you could figure real friends. Silla, Silla, Silla. My goodness, you know, I would never have guessed you're a club kind of girl, you know? You? What are you doing here? I came to sleep. It's a club, Yvonne. What do people come here to do? You. You and Joe. Your sense of humor. <laughs> That's fine. And you came alone? No. Oh. You can say I'm alone. And you drank all of this? Yeah. Well, I did. Well, I'm surprised again. So, can I join you? No. No. It's okay. I... I was actually on my way. Oh, no. oh. Okay. Um, no, no, it's okay. Don't tell me you plan on driving in this state. Ah, oh, come on. I can handle the steering. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be good. <laughs> Why don't you handle your legs? 
I said I will be fine. I'm okay. Okay. I'm gonna help you up. Come on. Okay, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> no, you're um, not. No, you're not. Okay. okay. Uh, just um, help me to the car. All right. Let go. <laughs> Let's go. Just one more one. Uh uh. You've had too much. You've had too much. Okay. Let's go. No, okay. no, let's go. Okay. You've had too much. It, it, it's fine. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Okay. I can I can I can walk. Yeah. Okay. I can I can walk. Um I'm fine. I'm fine. So what made you come here? <laughs> Dead bird husband. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Are you okay? I've been calling all night. I've been calling all night. I even went out and look for you. Me? No worry. I'm fine. Yeah? Why? You are the owner of the home, owner of the shoe, you have to put this in place by yourself. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Marriage is all about trust. And I broke the trust between us. I should have told you about the job. It's... Uh, it's okay. People make mistakes. Are yeah, you for you? You mean you're letting me off the hook that easily? talking about what is the meaning of this what i'm not behind this but i was in the car with you but you could have hired someone else to do it i am not giving you a dime i don't want your money yvonne huh. i really care about you i swear to god i'm not behind this you would have done it i have a very small social circle and i believe i have no enemies Come on, Eve. Let the blackmailers do their worst. <gasps> Your deadbeat husband can go if he wants. You still got. <laughs> Last night was a mistake. It will never happen again. Should you ever address me as evil? From today, you addressed me as Ma. Is that clear? Yes, Ma.
Ve. Madam, it's me. Eh, Madam, somebody give me a envelope, I can give you. So as I say, she come, come, as my brain come at us. What is this? I don't know, Madam. Um, did you by chance open this envelope? No, oh, madam, I'm not opening my door. I'm not a child. I said, just give me, you just enter. Now, I'm not going to give you my door. Eh, hey, madam. Now, now what's more picky, no? What's more gay? Then just switch, come. Give me and forget. It's my give you. Come on, come on. I'm not a child. It's, um, it, it's fine. You can, you can return to your post. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Nothing. I'm, I'm just stressed out from work. What's in the envelope? Huh? Envelope. What's in it? Um, nothing. It's um, office document. I have to go upstairs. You are the owner of your home, owner of the shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home. Owner of the shoe, you have to put things in place by yourself. Silla, Silla, Silla. Silla, Silla, Silla. Hey, baby. Um, um, hi. I got something for you. What? This for you. You know, well, baby, I realize I'm not betraying to you the way you deserve. But from now on, everything will change. I don't deserve this. What do you mean? Um, I, I... I meant to say you shouldn't... You shouldn't buy me fancy things until... Until you get a, a good job. <laughs> Baby, this is for you. It's not as expensive as we think. Thank um. you very much. About that itri job. Yes. I want you to go for it. What? Yes. It's it's better to have that than doing nothing at all. We can Cut down on our expenses to meet up your income and mine. Okay? Baby, are you serious? Yes, I am. My God. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. And I love you too. I'm sorry for being such a control freak. Come on, baby. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Mm. You are the owner of your home, mm. owner of your shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. You are the owner of your home, owner of your shoe. You have to put things in place by yourself. Zilla, 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 Zilla. 
I've paid the money to your account. Now you have what you want. And I'm not close to getting what I want. We had a deal. Look, the made up, okay? It's be a lot harder to get them to break up now. I don't care how you do it. Get it freaking done. She send the money. We could easily follow the pictures to Daniel. Simple. It won't be that easy. You know Daniel loves Yvonne like mad. He can easily forgive her. We need Yvonne to break that marriage. Yvonne has been acting more humble ever since she had a one night stand with that guy. I mean, <laughs> lately she's been missed. Goody to your shoes. <laughs> I don't care what you do. Get me what I want. Or else I'll tell Yvonne about her little business. I'm sure you don't want to get on her bad side. Are you threatening me? It's not a threat, honey. I'm only trying to tell you what's at stake. And for you to get inspired in working harder by getting me what I want. <sighs> Fine. I'll think of something. But if you take that to the way I'm talking to you and you're trying to smoke. <sighs> Bitch. Can you help me with something? What do you need? Come to my room. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. What is it you wanted to show me? This. What the hell are you doing? Come on. I feel I'm disappointed at you. You're in disgrace. <laughs> Whatever. What's going on here? say this again you wouldn't like me if I have to repeat myself go upstairs pack your things and leave my house go upstairs pack your things and leave just go you go Don't be dumb, stand on your feet, face your fear, so that you could figure real friends. Zilla, 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 Zilla,
Daniel, where are you going by this time of the night and with a bag? I'm going somewhere. Did Yvonne send you out of the house? I already told you, I'm going somewhere. Come on, Daniel, why not talk to me and stop treating me like a total stranger? I didn't do it. Frida set me up. She made it look as if I wanted to take advantage of her. And Yvonne believed her. Wait, why would Frida do something like that? I don't know. I don't get this. How can Yvonne take sides with that drug addict? You, you know what? Just forget it. You can spend the night at my place. No, don't worry. I will sort myself out. Can you just put your ego aside and let me help you? Right now you need a friend. Thank you so much, Ruth. Don't worry, don't worry. It's Thank okay. You so much. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. First thing tomorrow morning, I will be gone. It doesn't matter. Please, just get over, please. Zilla, Zilla, Zilla. You got to wake up, don't be dumb. Stand on your feet, face your fear, so that you could figure real friends. Zilla, Zilla, Zilla. Zilla, Zilla, Zilla. Zilla. Zilla, 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 Zilla. Are you okay? Yes, um, I'm fine. You should be in bed now. I'm just worried about you. No, I think it's my fault. Maybe I dressed in a way that provoked him. Not at all. It wasn't your fault. Daniel's just not right for you. I mean, how could you do this after all you've done for him? Just expect this from him. How could he? How could he do this to me? You'll be fine. You'll be okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruth. You've been more than a friend to me. A friend in need is a friend indeed. I've got your back. Mm. But you don't have to go. I need to. But I need you here. Look, I've spoken to my boss and he admitted he made a very big mistake. You can start work as soon as you want. But you see, there was no vacancy. It was a mistake. This can't be true. I mean, it's too much to be true. It's actually true. No more interviews. No more lagging behind. You can start work on Monday. But I can't take the job. Why? It will set off Yvonne. Right now, she doesn't want to see me. I have to consider her emotions. I can't believe you're still thinking of Yvonne after everything she's done to you. Rose! I'm the one. I'm the one who takes care of you. I'm the one who's always there for you. 
I'm the one who does dirty things just for you to get what you want. I'm the one, Daniel. I'm the one who sacrificed everything for you. Tell me what I've ever done for you. Tell me. I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, but I love my wife. You love your wife? The same wife who slept that intent? What? I have pictures to prove it. Hi, Susan. I'm so surprised to see you here. Um, Susan, I came to see you. There's something we need to talk about. I need to talk to you. I understand. I I'll call you later. This is not the right time for us. Susan, listen. I need to talk to someone else. I will go and sing. If, uh, like I told you, this is not the right time for us to talk. I told Daniel to leave the house. What? He tried to rape Frida. That doesn't sound like Daniel. Yes, I know it doesn't sound like him. But I saw it with my own eyes. I mean, this whole thing is so confusing and I know Frida wouldn't put up such a story. Yes, everybody knows she's crazy, but she wouldn't do anything to hurt me. I still... I still... Susan! Even you have to leave me now. I'll call you later. Please, just go. What? Hey, yes, baby. Can you tell me why this cloth is not ironed yet? I was about going to. You're such an old hag. I don't even know what I saw in you. I don't care about your stupid visitor. Um, um, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. What is going on here? Come on, just stay out of this. When will you change? When will you stop being cruel to me? You're so stupid. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm embarrassing you in my own house. You can. Can you have to stop this? You have to have. One more word from you and I would make sure you get a fresh slap. Oh, right. You said I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Just have one more time. I'll call the police. Get out of my house. Now that I can stay control myself. If you want, just leave. I will be fine. Susan, Susan, what is wrong with you? Can't you see he is hurting? Just leave. Get out. Just Susan! My goodness! 
Sue, what is this? What is this? But I told you to leave. You told me to leave. What in God's name is wrong with you? Now tell me, for how long do you want to tolerate this? Oh, I see. Ken is the thief who you claimed robbed you and redesigned your whole body and face like this. I love him. You love him. Now let me ask you, does he love you? Of course, he loves me too. It's just that he's hot-tempered and I know with time he will change. I think you need to get your brain re-examined. With time he will change. When the monster kills you. So why are you so blind? Open your eyes. If anyone is blind here, it's you. You took the side of your psycho sister over a man who loves and respects you. It's so obvious that Frida was lying. Even a blind man could see that. Um, so you weren't there. You don't know what happened. I thought you were smart. But to be honest, you're too proud. Susan, I am not proud. So how can you say that? I'm not proud. None of you just on the... Yvonne, how could you? How could you do this to me? You always criticize and judge me like you're perfect. But all this why you've been cheating on me. What is going on here? How could you do this to me, Yvonne? He deserves to know the truth. Ruth? Ruth, how could you do this to me? Daniel. Daniel, it's, it's not what you think. I swear, it's not. I, I, I was drunk. I, I was drunk that night. Oh. You actually expect me to believe you? When you couldn't even believe me when I said I did not try to take advantage of Freda? So you cheated on Daniel. Oh, just shut up, Sue. Ruth, how, how did you get these pictures? I, I, I don't remember telling you about this. I, I, I didn't mention it to you. So it's you. You've been the one blackmailing me all this while. Ruth. Frida, tell your sister the truth. What, what truth? Daniel, please, let's go. Let's go. It's been proven that your wife is a whore. Let's go. How then did Victor know that I was at the club that night? He's new in town and freshmen are not so comfortable going out at night. Please explain to us how you got, this, got those pictures. Are you taking her side? Are you siding with her, Daniel? After everything I've done for you, you still go back to her. I hate you. I hate all of you. I hate you. Ruth, come back here. You said you were going to help me get Daniel, but you did nothing! Nothing! Wait. Wait a minute. What is going on here? Frida, what is she talking about? Who told me you fought with Daniel and drove him out? Who do you think is benefiting from the blackmail money? Who? Frida, Frida, how could you? I, I, I didn't do it. Oh, look at her, she's crazy. <laughs> Me crazy. I'm crazy, Frida. I will show you what crazy looks like. I will show you what you what crazy is like. I will show you. Hey! Oh. 
slept with that JT smelling disgusting man who calls himself the CEO just to get you a job. What did you do? You still love her after everything I've done. I knew to come to this. I knew I can only be with you when she's out of the picture. Um, um, Ruth, don't, don't, don't do this. I'm, I'm your friend, please. Don't, don't, don't do this. You don't have to do this, please. You're not my friend! Keep quiet! It was my first! How is she? The bullets did not touch any of her vital organs. She's unconscious, but she will be fine. Do you think the police will allow Ruth to be bailed? She shot my sister. That bipolar bitch must go to jail. What about us? Daniel. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I... I know I've been a terrible wife. I'm so sorry for not trusting you. I didn't believe you. Please. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Whatever I had with Victor was a mistake. My love, you happened just once. It was a terrible mistake. Should have tried harder to get a job. All these things won't have happened if I stepped up to my responsibilities. I'm sorry for never being there for you. Maybe I'm so sorry. <laughs> Susan, Susan, listen. Susan. Please. 
Susan. Susan, please. Su Susan, please. You don't need all this. Why are you doing this to me? Please, Susan. Susan, please. Susan, Susan. Susan, please. Susan. Susan. Susan, please. Susan, please. Please, Susan. Susan, please. Susan, please. Please, Susan, please, Susan, don't leave me, please, I beg of you. Susan, please. Please. Susan, please. Susan, Susan, please. Please, Susan, Susan, please. Took a bullet for me. I respect that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I let greed take away my humanity. I'm sorry. I will forgive you, but not today. Not tomorrow. And certainly not a month from now. You've destroyed the bond between us as sisters. I'm really sorry. <sighs> yes, you may be sorry. But it will take a long time. A very long time for me to trust you again. I have sent your stuff over to Mons. You'll go there tomorrow. Friends, Silla, Silla, Silla. 